And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting 0 0.1 and 1 from a particular number. Um, I have attached a number square uh, to one decimal place number square to the assignment for today's lesson that you may find handy um, during the tasks. There is also a PowerPoint presentation. If you would like to look through that, I'll be going through the learning slides. So learning reminders. Um, you can see in the background here, we have got a number square and this number square or number grid goes up in steps of 0 0.1 in, instead of set steps of one. So normally we would see a one to 100 number square. We would be going up in whole numbers of one. But for this one, we're going up in steps of 0 0.1, as you can see along the top line. Pay particular attention to the end here. When we get to 0 0.9, the next number is one, is the whole number one. It is not 0 0.10. So, Having a look at this, if we know that the last number on this line is 1, what do we think might be here? Have a think to yourselves. It would indeed be 1.1. Well done if you said that. Have a think. What do you think? Which number might be here? Well done if you said 1.4. Let's go to the next slide and see. So... Um, you will notice the patterns like you will in an, any number grid where we have all the numbers along this column will end in point one. All of the numbers in this column will end in point two and so on. So all of the numbers, if we went up in each stage um, on this column, would end in point seven. As we go along the number lines, each line goes up by a whole number of one. OK, so we get to the end of this one, like I explained in the previous slide, we have one. That means the, the numbers on this row would be 1.1, 1.2. So um, going down, what do we add? We add the whole number of one, as I have said. So what do you think might go on this square? OK, the end of our line is two. We know that this column always ends in point 0.2. Well done if you said 2.2, because all of the numbers along this one are going to start with the whole number 2. How about here? What number do you think might be here? Well done if you said 2.6. Okay, let's choose a really tricky one. Um, let's go all the way down here, whiz all the way down here. So, First of all, we need to have a look at our tenths number and we know that it's going to be 0.7. Everything on this number square ends in 0.7. And then we need to think about our whole number, our ones number. OK, so we go back to the previous line, ended in 8, which shows that all of the numbers on this line are going to be 8 point something. So it means this one would be 8.7. OK, now let, let's have a look at adding and subtracting using um, a number grid like this. So we've chosen the number 2.5. The question is, what numbers are to the right, to the left and below 2.5? So the number to the right is 2.6. What did we need to do to get from this number to this number? The difference is in our tenths. And by how many tenths? Have we gone up? And you can see the number sentence is here. We've gone up by one tenth, which is the equivalent of 0 0.1 in decimal number form. So 2.5 add 0 0.1 equals 2.6. If we were to go to look at the, the number to the left of 2.5, so we're going this way, again, it's our tenths number that has changed and it has gone down by 0 0.1. So to put that into a number sentence, 2.5 take away 0 0.1 equals 2.4. And then the final question we're asked is what numbers are below 2.5? So we've gone down and this time the difference is in the ones number. How is it different? Have a think. Well done if you said it has increased by a whole one. So the number sentence would be 2.5 add one equals 3.5.
So have a think, you've got three yellow highlighted squares. What numbers would go in the highlighted squares? And then I'm actually going to give you a couple of number sentences. So well done if for this one you said 3.8. Well done if for this one you said 4.2. You can always check these by looking at the numbers that you've already got. So I know I've got 1.2 here and I'm going, I know that when I go down, I add one each time. So I know we have 1.2, 2.2, 3.2, 4.2. Brilliant. Okay. I know that that's correct. And then finally, this one would be 7.9. So say we took 3.8 as the example and the number sentence I gave to you I hope you can see that yeah is 3.8 add 0.1 what would the answer be so we know we're adding so we know we're going to go into this direction the number needs to get bigger and we're adding uh, a jump of one square because I've asked you to add 0.1 so my answer would be whatever lies in this square, which hopefully you said is 3.9. So my answer would be 3.9. Okay, if I looked at um, 7.9, this one's going to be a bit trickier. Take away 0 0.2 equals, so I start on 0 0.9, I'm taking away, so I know the answer is going to be smaller, so I need to go in this direction, and 0 0.2 is 2 tenths, so I need to, I know I need to jump two boxes, so 1, 2. So my answer is going to be whatever fits in here, which is 7.7. .7. Well done if you said 7.7. .7. Finally, let's do 4.2 add 2. Another tricky one. This time, what I'm adding doesn't have a decimal point. It's just adding two whole ones. So I start at 4.2. As I'm adding a whole number, we know we move down the number grid. And I need to move down by two. So one, two. Oh, this one's partially hidden. It would be whatever is in this box, which hopefully you have said is 6.2. Well done if you manage to do those. Um, so your practice sheets are in the form of mild and hot. Um, and it is filling out whatever fits on these um, in these circles. Um, I know some of you are going to find this really, really easy. So if you do, I would like you to try and challenge yourself by adding and subtracting um, either 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or you might want to do um, some whole numbers, write down some number sentences um, to do with the numbers you have chosen. Okay, um, have a go at those. Like I say, I have attached a completed number um, grid for you to help you out if you do, if you are finding it difficult. The answers are here, so you can self-mark. If you're finding it a bit, if you're finding it a little bit tricky, um, there is the decimal sequences sheet for you to go through with an adult, and that is just looking at placing numbers with a, a decimal of to one place onto this number line. Okay, so it's recapping some learning from last week. Have a go at this if you found it at all tricky, and then finally we have some number sequences on the check your understanding questions page. Good luck and enjoy.